Boss Productions Mini Nature Documentaries. Documentaries. Today we'll be looking at how scientists, biologists, and engineers, and more sophisticated people like them, biomimic the kingfisher to make the Japanese bullet train more sustainable. The kingfisher, one of the most beautiful creatures of the animal kingdom. Phylum Corydata, class Avis. Yawn! Order, Corosiforms. Family, Alcidinus. And genus, Alcido. The kingfisher is thought to have evolved in the northern hemisphere and to have invaded the Australasian region. Nearly 100 species of kingfisher have been found around the world, on coasts or marshes, from Europe, Asia, and even as far east as Japan. I was out with my team getting some shots of a bird for our TED Talk next week. Yeah. And have you seen those things dive into the water? No splash at all. <laughs> and, yes, with the kingfisher's long, narrow beak, one would think a large raindrop had just hit the water. And when the kingfisher hits the water, there is a difference in pressure, making the bird's ambush on its prey much more effective. Though some kingfishers have long pointy bills so that they can dig through the forest floor for prey, while others have shorter, more broad beaks for hunting animals above ground. The kingfisher can detect water refraction and can judge water depth accurately. It hovers just above the water before catching its prey. What? Sucks for him. And now, Brett Ish will talk about West Japan Railway Company's Bullet Train. The Bullet Train is the fastest train in the world. That's it? Yep. And at up to 200 miles per hour, the Bullet Train is the fastest train in the world. Though there are some flaws in the design. He's the king of fish and so they call him King Fisher. Yams everyone. Never mind. Creepy scarecrow. Yo, 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 I was on a business trip out in Japan near Tokyo. And I was asleep in my hotel. And I awoke to the sound of a yo, yo, big sonic boom, yo. And I was like, no, no, no way, yo. That loud sonic boom would be the sound of a bullet train exiting a tunnel. When one of the trains goes through a tunnel, high air pressure builds and is pushed along with the front of the train. And when the train leaves the tunnel, the compressed air expands and makes a loud boom noise. Now this is where the bullet train and the kingfisher come together. Scientists, biologists, and engineers applied the kingfisher's long and narrow beak to the bullet train to create a new and more sustainable model. With the train's new long and narrow front, it is more aerodynamic, saving 15% of its energy, and does not wake up any more sleeping wrappers. I'm John Doe, and I hope you enjoyed learning about nature with me. Like a boss.